Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the end of August 2020. Some of you may feel like you're taking on a burden, a heavy burden. Oh, something else wants to come out, my goodness, let me see. Maybe dealing with the Father of Cups, maybe someone of the emotional nature, a water sign possibly, but not necessarily. We're going to find out. But I need a five card reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, bonus reading for the end of August. As you know, this will not resonate with every Aquarius, but I do try to reach the majority, a lot of you, okay? But we'll see what's going on. It could be a lot of things. It could be... You know, that burden I'm thinking of. You're thinking that life is just a little difficult right now for Aquarius, you know, for a lot of things. And it could have to do with some of the emotional nature. Maybe an older type female, maybe a mother figure in some way, you know. Let's see what's going on. Five card spread. Plus, I'll be giving you a mini read, a uh, mini love reading at the end. You know, a pick a card reading. Father of Pentacles. Dealing with older people. Um, someone's feeling emotional and someone's not feeling real secure. For some of you, you can be dealing with a Taurus, but not necessarily. It could be any earth sign. It could be anybody that's not feeling real stable right now in life. That may be a little bit older, okay? Seven of Pentacles. In the past position, I'm putting that in. Seven of Pentacles is about um, trying to reinvest in something that will grow in life. Something... You're going to try to harvest something, something that did possibly did not work out before. Or you're going to be reevaluating re your life over failures that didn't work. And now you're going to start something else. You're going to start making something work. You're going to figure out what to do next. Obstacle. Youth of Wands. Some of you may have a younger person in your life. Could be children. Okay, it doesn't have to be though. It also could be someone short-tempered, someone lack of experience in the obstacle position. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Current environment, justice. You get justice in some way, or you demand justice, or you equal, you know, uh, balance the scales. But it's coming towards you, a lover. A lover situation, partnerships is coming towards you. But you're not making a final decision yet on anything. That's a judgment in reverse. I got that for somebody else. Um, let me see what's going on. I'm going to use the 8th house tarot. This is the naked heart here that I used. But I'm going to use the 8th house tarot to clarify. I do see you working towards something. Cultivating, reinvesting in your life with the 7 of pentacles. I need 2 cards please. For Aquarius. See what's going on. Five of air in reverse. The fool is taking a new beginning. Um, the failed situation that you were dealing with in the past, it's over. Maybe it started an argument, but it's over. Okay, you, you dealt with it. And now you're going to take a new leap of faith. That's what I see you doing, taking a leap of faith to with your finances, with your life in general, with stability. But you got someone... I don't know, going against you a little, the youth of wands. Could be, like I said, someone lack of experience. Maybe you feel like you have lack of, uh, lack of experience, but it could be a younger type fire sign. For some of you, I'm feeling a strong Sagittarius presence, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So the youth of wands in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Aquarius. King of Earth. The star card, hope, that's your card. So, again, you're dealing with someone younger, the one's energy, could be like one of your children, it could be someone lacking experience, but again, um, someone's not feeling real stable and secure, this could be earth and fire, this could be this person that's a little bit older, it could be male or female, even though it's the king of earth. It's just someone's not feeling real secure and stable, but there is always hope there, okay? This Aquarius star card, that's your power. You have hope in a situation. Current environment, you're going to get justice. You're going to balance the scales in some way. I need two cards, please, for Aquarius. Why justice is there. Two cards, please. The Empress in reverse bounces the scales over something that that brought a new growth before. 
with the queen of water. Didn't we not see her trying to pop out earlier? I don't, I don't remember now. Um, cards pop out all the time. But the queen of water, you're going to balance the scales with the queen of water, okay? Something that didn't have no growth in it before. Could have something to do with your children or uh, pregnancies. Not necessarily, though. And remember, we're dealing with male or female. But I do see you balancing the scales, getting justice over something that had no growth before. And something maybe was stagnant that went stale, okay? You got a lover situation coming towards you. The lovers in the upright, okay? So I need two cards for the lovers card for Aquarius. What kind of lover is coming towards them? What is that about? We are giving a love reading. Remember that. Two cards for Aquarius, please. Six of fire. Someone that... Two of fire. I'm seeing um, someone not making a final decision towards a lover that's coming towards them. Because the two of fire is about making a decision. And you may like to be a little bit on the safe side. Uh, instead of put, But even though I see you be a little bit on the safe side. And someone is wanting an energy with you. They want to do this with you. Be a lover situation. But they feel like you're not getting any success. Because it's like you're not committing to them. Cause, or maybe vice versa. But I do see it there. But I, I don't see anybody making that final decision. At the end of August, you know, I do see you getting justice and balancing the scales, but I do see also for some of you that I'm seeing that somebody is definitely wanting to be with you, but a final decision is not going to be made because maybe you're just waiting it out a little, even though there is hope in the situation, even though I see in the past you cultivating over something that failed, you you re, make a regrowth in your life. You're make, not making a final decision towards a lover yet. So the judgment in reverse, because that's like, you know, not wanting to make a final decision on something. Um, you haven't passed judgment on what you want to do. So I need two cards, please, for Aquarius. Two cards, please. Ten of Water. You're going for your happily ever after, so with the queen of air. So there may be other people around, other things you're considering. This also could be you. You're going for your overall happiness, you know, air, water. I see you. Um, that's why you're not making a final decision towards lovers just yet, or at least commitment, because you're trying to regain your balance, your justice, what you're wanting to do. But I do see someone that is still very much interested in you. But I also see where someone's not feeling real practical. I also see someone with lack of experience. I also see someone with a little bit of a short temper. I'm not saying it's you, but it could be the other person also, you know. But you're just trying to keep things on an even keel and keep things going. But I do see, like I said, someone, yeah, you may put a rest to something. You may put something to rest. Because you're going for, even though I don't see you making that final decision, okay, let's make this very clear at the end of August here, okay? I do eventually see you making one, just not right now, because you're going for that Ten of Cups energy. You're getting your happily ever after. That is your energy. You're getting your crown on. And that may be why you haven't made a decision on who you want to be with permanently yet, but you eventually will. You'll put it to rest. And let people know what you're doing and what you're wanting. Let's see what the uh, love cards have to say. This could be career, too. This could be your career. It doesn't have to be a love situation. Even though there's a lover's there, that could be partnerships, too. You know, I see a lot of money situation in there. Where you're going for your, you know, wealth. Where you're going for, you know, financial stability. But let me see what the uh, romance love cards say. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the bonus reading at the end of August, pick a card. Now you can pick a section, you know, what you feel compelled or drawn to. But I bring them all together at the end anyway for secondary energies. I always do. It's just the way I read. But I need three cards for Aquarius, please. And three cards from the Angel Answers, a different angel deck. Let's see what's going on. Ah, I'm in trouble picking them up. Three cards from the Angel Answers. Bonus reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Three cards, please, concerning love from the angels. Tell us more that Aquarius needs to know. 
do you see if Aquarius going for what they're wanting in life, they balance the scales, and they actually get justice from an unjust situation. But I do see someone on the outside kind of looking towards you, but you're like, I don't know. Three cards from the Moonology cards. Sun, Moon, and Rising. For Aquarius. Bonus reading for August. Three cards, please, for the pick a card. Have you picked this section? Love yourself first. I do feel that, that you're going to be, you know, putting yourself first, you know, weighing the balances, trying to get yourself together. Love yourself first, and then love will come to you. If you're asking the universe about love, it's a yes answer. Love will come in. Have faith in your dreams. You may have a little self-doubt there. Do not self-doubt, okay? Love yourself first, and love will come in, okay? A lot of you are going to deal with uh, some of the religious factors. Maybe someone's very spiritual. Maybe you're very spiritual. But you'll be in, your love life will be influenced by this somehow. Get more information if you want to know about someone's um, what their belief system is, if it's important to you, or it may be important to them. So get more information on a love situation. That could be a problem if you don't bring it forward to the table now. Believe in the impossible. For some of you... Um, I do see the hope card in there. I do believe you believe in the impossible, but sometimes it gets in the way. Once in a blue moon, believe in the, pos the impossible because you're going to have love come in. But I do feel like something that has to do with religion and spirituality and what your belief system is, it needs to be put on the table. But also have faith that things will work out, okay? And also uh, pray about a situation if you need to to um, get the answers you need, you know, from the angels. You do have a reconciliation where I do see someone wants to reconcile and you're unsure of it. It says ask help from others and get advice from others to see whether um, you should accept this reconciliation. But someone um, does want to come forward to you. But like I said, uh, you'll be undecided a little bit still. But you've got prosperity lies ahead. I do see you going for your happily ever after. That's just what you're going to do. So, first of all, for love to work out, whether you're getting back with somebody or new love, it could be new love also, love yourself first. If you want new love, you've got to love yourself first so you become lovable, okay? Yes, you will, you will meet someone, have faith in that. Um, you're going to be dealing with uh, uh, spirituality in the new relationship in some way or another. So, get information of if this is exactly where you want to be. Also, remember to ask your angels. Pray to your angels. Pray to your guides, whatever you believe in, pray to them and believe in the impossible and it will happen. I do see someone want to get back together with you. I do not see you making a final decision in August, at least the end of August, maybe the beginning of uh, September. I'll give another reading. It may take off from this. I may get a totally different reading, but I do see someone wants to get back with you, but it's up to you. I do not see you pushing forward too quickly yet. You're going to take your time with it anyway. You're going to ask help from others. You're going to get advice from others. But remember, prosperity lies ahead no matter what you do. Okay? Aquarius, I'm going to let this go. I will talk to you later. Bye.